Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Villa, Here. Alderman Arnowitz, Here. Alderman Wessels, Here. Alderman Howard, Present. Alderman Florida, Alderman Behringer, Alderman Rohde, Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Schmidt, Alderman French, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cohn, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Carter, Alderman Crewson, President Reed, here. Alderman Bosley, Alderman Hubbard, Alderman Young, Alderman Conway, Alderman Ortman, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Florida, Alderman Rohde, Alderman French, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Carter, Alderman Crewson, 21 present. Quorum being present, I'll ask everyone in the chambers and the galleries who's able to stand to please rise for prayer. Giving all honor to God, almighty God, source of all authority, we humbly ask guidance in our deliberations and wisdom in our conclusions. Amen. We will dispense with our regular order of business, take up our courtesy resolution calendar. I move for adoption of our courtesy resolution calendar. I entertain a second on second about all of them from the 20th. All the one from the 19th, would you like to approach the dais? Good morning, members of the board and guests. I have the honor of uh, presenting a resolution to a young man who has a lot of vision. I'd like to ask him and his family to come up, please. Okay. Martise Roosevelt Hill. I love the first words behind his name here. It says, a Renaissance global filmmaker. That's pretty impressive. And so you have to think about this young man, as young as he is, his visions had met, must have taken him very far. He has a reason to know that he can do it. When you say a filmmaker at his age, that means that you've experienced a lot of things, you figured it out, you're gonna make it happen, you want to be a part of the history of this world. So I had read about Martis and his venture here in St. Louis making a film, and I was extremely impressed. As most of you know, I follow the arts very closely, and I'm very impressed with young people and do whatever I can to assist them. So reading about him turned me on. I started asking questions, looking around, and I wanted to know him, and I wanted to honor him, and I wanted him to know that this city of St. Louis is here to support him. That's very critical for us. It means that other people would look at how we treat uh, young entrepreneurs, young filmmakers, young artists, and they would want to be a part of this community. A lot of people have said, I don't understand how art makes money. Well, let me tell you something. Art is the number three endeavor in the country that makes money. Did you hear what the film made last weekend? Did you hear about all those millions? Art makes money. So we want to be a part of that. We want to be a part of that. And so I say to you, Martise, I'm not going to read this whole resolution, but knowing that you are a Morehouse graduate, that says a lot. Knowing that you have a mom that's still with you, because you know you artists drive us crazy. <laughs> knowing that you wanted to come home and do something here in St. Louis means a lot. 
And you credit Spike Lee for giving you a voice and being there for you, and that says a lot too. So on Saturday, this past Saturday, May 4th, at the Kranzberg Art Center at 501 North Grand, located in the 19th Ward, <laughs> you had a chance to present to us. And so I give you honor, and I give you all the accolades possible, and wish you very, very well in your endeavors. So on behalf of this Board of Aldermen, the City of St. Louis, in this chambers today, I present you, Mr. Hill, with a resolution from us. Good morning. I just want to uh, take this opportunity to thank you all for the recognition. Uh, it means a lot coming home after being gone for so long to get so much uh, a warm welcome home. And I just want you all to know that this will not be my last film in St. Louis. And uh, this is just the beginning of my chronicles of my experiences in St. Louis. And I look forward to working with you all again in the future. Thank you so much. Any further comments? Any further comments? I will also add to um, the Alderwoman from the 19th, uh, congratulations and thanks to Martise, uh, his mother, and uh, who's this with you? His sister, uh, for a job well done. Thank you so much for shining a positive light on St. Louis. And we're looking forward to many great things in the future from you. I'm looking forward to seeing one of your blockbusters happen. Thank you so, much. so congratulations, Martise. Thank you. Everyone know that it's Delta Days today, right? That's a big day here in City Hall. So it's Delta Days, all the one from the 19th. You want to bring up the Deltas? I'd like to ask the Deltas to come to the podium, please. It doesn't seem like it was a year already since you were here last, but uh, we do appreciate the fact that you recognize uh, this board and come and spend time with the president, uh, having opportunities to talk to your older persons. And uh, we are honored too because of the continuous work that you do as an organization. For those who don't know, the Deltas are celebrating their 100 year anniversary this year and they will have a fabulous convention in Washington, D.C. in July. So I know you're looking forward to that. Uh, and we're also looking at the fact that, irregardless of the things that most of these women had to endure when this organization was started, I took a moment this morning and thought back 100 years. <laughs> you know, women couldn't vote. They didn't even want you to be a part of politics. They didn't want you to be in here. Uh, so there was a lot of things that we have accomplished in a hundred years. And this organization, which supports education above and beyond everything, I do know and understand that part, but they're community people. They don't just live in a community, they work in the community, they support the community. They want to be a part of making it better and making it uh, good for all to have a good quality of life. So the Deltas of the City of St. Louis, and I want to give you all the accolades for making sure that you stay prominent. You see, that, that says a lot, to be prominent for 100 years. There's a lot of organizations that have come and gone, some with scandal. Uh, <laughs> but to do 100 years, that's quite incredible. But what I wanted to do with our older people, because I wanted them to realize how diverse you are in your residential uh, position in the city of St. Louis, 
How many of our, my colleagues remember that you have a Delta living in your ward? Raise your hand, children. <laughs> okay, a few remembered. But I'm going to remind a few that didn't raise their hand. Now you have Deltas that live in the 23rd Ward. You have Deltas that live in the 4th Ward. You have Deltas that live in the 20th Ward. You have Deltas that live in the 28th Ward. Uh, you got Deltas that live all over this city. North, South, East, West, Central Quarter. So that means that they can be a part of what we're trying to do in being successful. I call on them. Most of the time I don't have to call on them. They're already there. So um, I just wanted to make sure that you understood that part of it and you recognize them in there. So on behalf of the City of St. Louis, this Board of Aldermen, the President, members of the Board, we'd like to present you with this uh, recognition for who you are and what you do. Congratulations, Deltas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Kim Banks, and I'm the president of the St. Louis Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta. And on behalf of the over 300 members of the St. Louis Metropolitan St. Louis Alumni Chapter, and we also have members of the St. Louis Metropolitan Alumni Chapter here today, we'd like to thank you for presenting us with this award. Uh, this is the 15th year that. Our chapter has acknowledged the Delta Day at St. Louis City Hall. We are very serious about social action and political awareness here in the city. And so on behalf of all the Deltas in the St. Louis metropolitan area, we thank you very much. Any further comments? Alderman from the 25th. So um, I already had the opportunity to speak with many of these wonderful women uh, over in the Kennedy hearing room, but I just want to reiterate my congratulations to you all on your 100 years of service to not only the city of St. Louis, but also our country. I've got a, a, <laughs> a wonderful uh, experience with just so many members of your sorority, not only here in St. Louis, but I find myself even in the halls of Jefferson City or in Atlanta <laughs> or in Washington, D.C., whenever I find myself surrounded by a sea of red. It's just a very welcoming presence, and you all do so much great work, not only here, but everywhere. And, you know, I applaud you and your efforts, particularly on the education front and, you know, elsewhere. And thank you for everything that you do to make our, our city and our country a better place. Thank you. Uh, any further comments? Alderman from the 26th. Oh, Alderman from the 14th. Good morning, Deltas. I'm very familiar with many of you. Many of you are former colleagues of mine, Dr. Rochelle Clark, and also Dr. Doris Graham. I don't see her today, but um, I've worked with several of you, and you do wonderful work, and I'm proud to have spent time with you, working with you, and look, look forward to the continued relationship. Thank you Thank for all you, you do. All in front of 26. Mr. President, members of the board, I just want to congratulate you also on, on your 100 years as being a Delta. You've done an excellent job through our, our, our community. We really appreciate all the hard work you've done. And I want to give a special shout out to Ms. Clark, who is a constituent in the 26th Ward. She's a lady that has raised a beautiful family, very educated woman that has helped her kids, and they're doing very well. And she's a person that we can always rely on to get good sound knowledge and she's been very active in our community and we appreciate the hard work she's done and all you beautiful ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All the one from the 7th. Welcome Deltas. I love seeing you every year. I miss one of uh, my favorite Deltas was Gloria White and um, I truly miss that lady. So I want to say thanks for all you do. You make a difference in people's lives and we will do whatever we can to help you all make that difference. So welcome and enjoy your day here. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comments? Any further comments? Uh, Alderman from the 12th or 11th. You want to make a comment, Alderman, before we move on? All right. <laughs> you, you were looking like you were just about to jump up. I didn't want to leave you hanging. <laughs> I didn't want to leave you hanging. <laughs> I also want to add my uh, uh, thanks and also congratulations on 100 years. When you think about 100 years, um, 
you know, was that um, seven, if I'm, I think I'm right, but seven years before women received the right to vote, a little over 50 years before the Civil Rights Act, the Voters' Rights Act, and that kind of stuff, a lot has happened over, over 100 years. But one thing that has remained consistent is the fights that uh, this organization has endured and what they continue to stand for. They can stand for, they stand for equality, they stand for fair, have fair workplaces for everyone. They want to make sure that there's equal pay. They want to make sure that they stay involved in things that are happening in government to, to change the lives of people all across the United States. And I am, I know that my life has been enriched and my family's life has been enriched and my, my uh, friends' lives have been enriched by the works of the Deltas. Um, and when you think about some of the milestones that this, uh, this organization has achieved, I think that, uh, what, he sent a woman to outer space, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Wasn't she a Delta? Yeah. So they've been all over the place. So congratulations, Deltas. Thank well, you. Alderman, Alderman from the 22nd. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I, too, would like to say congratulations to the Deltas. Um, we probably can't say enough about the good works you do in our community and across this whole country. Um, but I also want to send a special shout out to Ms. White, who is uh, one, of the, one of the taller in stature <laughs> in our community that's standing up there. I met Ms. White probably 30 some years ago. And, and when I say this, I'm not just trying to be uh, schmoozy, but every time I see her, she makes me feel young because I was just a kid at Hempstead School. I think I was about in the fifth grade. She was a kindergarten teacher there and she hasn't changed you know, all these years. And, and what a wonderful person. And also those who don't know her, she also does line dancing yes, with the y YMCA. And we enjoyed having her at the 22nd World Christmas party a few years. And just again, a phenomenal person and all of you you guys are wonderful, beautiful ladies, and thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now, you know we normally get your, your uh, resolution framed in red. We, we're going to get this one framed in red if you'll leave it for us. Uh, you know, with the budget and everything, and we're just getting back in session, <laughs> we ran out of time. Uh, and, uh, you know, I ride my bike to City Hall in the morning, left my red tie. That's why I'm sweating now. I had to get all the way back home to get this red tie. <laughs> As I said, I'm not going to let the Deltas catch me up here without this red tie. But uh, you know that this resolution is the highest honor the board has to give. Uh, so 100, 200 years from now, when they read about, when they read through the records of the city of St. Louis, they'll find amongst those records uh, some of the works of the Deltas. And know that you've passed this way and you've made such a significant contribution that we pause in our deliberation this day to congratulate and thank you for some of your many works and their 100th anniversary. Congratulations again thank on behalf you. of the Board of Law. Now we gotta get you back up this way now. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> you go down the steps a little bit, please. You too. Come on, It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our courtesy resolution count. <coughs> Did you have some? All the one for the second? I have a special guest. 
Uh, okay. Go ahead. Let me let me. Uh, all Mr. The Mr. President, yeah. not too late. I'd First. like to add my name to the resolution, please. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Um, Madam Clerk, please make note of that change. So noted. Okay. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Alderman from the 23rd. Do that in bank. It's been moved that we pass the resolution in bank. It's been seconded by the Alderman from the 15th. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, please prepare an additional copy in bank. So noted. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our courtesy resolution calendar. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That will return our regular order of business. All the one from the second. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I have a special guest this morning, Maddie Moore, the committee woman of the second ward, and her nephew is Martise Hill, who received a recognition this morning, and she has a beautiful letter here from Claire McCaskill wishing you congratulations. I know I can't read the entire letter, but it says it is her distinct pleasure to recognize you for your accomplishment in filmmaking. You should be proud to have the achievement you have made thus far in your career. So congratulations and welcome, Maddie Moore. This is a nice recognition from our U.S. Senator. All the from the all the one from the 14th. All the one from the 14th. I, um, President Reed, I would like to have as my very special guest today, the committee woman from the 14th ward, Mr. Harry Ken Senator Harry Kennedy, and I would like to welcome Ms. Shirley Stennis from Ameren UE and uh, Gary uh, Otten from the Painters District Council too, and also um, Mr. Leroy Grant from the Communication Workers. Thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> Alderman from the 23rd. I had to cross a couple off because they were taken <laughs> I'd like to have as my special guest today, Celeste Reeder from the Realtors, and Al from the Firefighters, and I know uh, mental block, but from a fire local, Alfred. <laughs> so I'm, I'm losing my mind about Alfred. Thank you. Demetrius Alfred. All right. Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President. The members of the board, I'd like to have as my special guest today, Dale Rusat, Harry Kennedy, Shirley Stennis, Leroy Grant, Jim Sonderman, and all of you over there that don't have not people's special guests. My very special guest today is Marlene Davis. Marlene, are you a Delta? <laughs> <laughs> Sign up. You need to get in on that. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. one for the 19th. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my special guest today. Ms. Ozella Robinson Foster. Uh, Ms. Foster has uh, her business located in the 19th Ward, and most of you all know her through her brother, Ted Foster, but she has branched off and she has her own funeral home now. It's being very successful. I welcome her and I thank her because she's not just a business owner, but she's a part of our community. So thank you for coming down and being my guest today, Ms. Foster. Uh, Alderman from the 26th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my special guest today, Mr. Percy Green II with the fire department. Thank you. Third. Three of them. There's three of them now. That third. Thank you. We also have, uh, you know, our newest staff member, Michael Powers. Mike, could you walk up so everybody sees you? Uh, I'm really happy to have Michael on board. Michael interned at the White House. Uh, he's a you know, specialist in urban planning, been an NSO, worked in mayor's offices and everything. He's been really uh, successful in writing grant applications, all kinds of stuff, so use him. He's a tremendous resource. Welcome aboard, Mike. So let's give him a round of applause. For All right, Alderman from the 10th. 
Oh, also Maddie Moore from the Senator's office. Thank you for being here today. I don't think we miss anybody. Alderman from the 10th like to wrap us up. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Today is May 10th, and while we will celebrate Mother's Day on the Sunday the 12th, it was on this day in 1908 that the first Mother's Day was celebrated in Grafton, West Virginia by a lady who said, I want my children to have all the things I couldn't afford and then move in with them. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I need to remember that. All of them from the 13th, you recognize on approval of the minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. I move for approval of the minutes of the April 15th and 16th meetings. Moved by all of them from the 13th, seconded by all of them from the 12th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have been placed in all alderman's mailboxes. We we'll dispense with line items 7, 2 through 10. First reading of board bills. Board Bill 64, sponsored by Alderman Vaccaro, an ordinance establishing a four-way stop site at the intersection of Ivanhoe and Hancock containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 65, sponsored by Alderman Vollmer, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of property from a single-family dwelling district to the F neighborhood commercial district in City Block 4076 for property on Shaw containing an emergency clause. Board Bill number 66, sponsored by Alderman Matthias, an ordinance to repeal Ordinance 690992, pertaining to commercial semi-trailer trucks, also known as semis, or tractor trailers, trailer trucks, prohibiting such traffic during certain hours on Union Boulevard from the north boundary of Inter Interstate Highway 70 to the south boundary of West Florissant, exempting from said prohibition emergency vehicles, including privately owned tow trucks when providing emergency service to non-commercial vehicles and vehicles with gross vehicle weight of less than 26,000 pounds. That's the extent of our first reading. Reference to committee. To the Streets Committee, Board Bill 64 and 66. To the Housing Committee, Board Bill 65. That's the extent of reference to committee. Second reading. Following board bill was reported out of the Ways and Means Committee, board bill number four, sponsored by President, sponsored by Alderman Kennedy and President Reed, in ordinance to provide for the borrowing of funds in anticipation of the collection of tax payments levied by the city for deposit in its general revenue fund for the calendar year ending December the 31st, 2013, and and remaining uncollected and other revenues remaining to be collected and deposited in the general revenue fund for fiscal year ending, two th ending June the 30th, 2014 and containing an emergency clause. The following board bills were reported out of the Transportation and Commerce Committee, board bill number 11, sponsored by Alderman Conway and ordinance recommended by the Airport Commission, the Board of Public Service and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into and execute an agreement and the contract of sale for the exchange of property between St. Louis and North Park Partners containing a severability clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 12, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and ordinance recommended and approved by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into and execute the Lambert Airport Local Concept Food and Beverage Concession Agreement between the City and OHM Concession Group containing a severability clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill number 37, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and ordinance recommended and approved by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into an exit a restated and amended <coughs> lease agreement between the city and Signature Flight Sub Support Corporation containing a severability clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill number 38, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and on its recommended and approved by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing and directing the Air Director of Airports and the Comptroller to enter into and execute a lease agreement between the city and MHS Travel and Charter Incorporated containing a severability and an emergency clause. The following board bills were reported out of the Streets Committee. Board Bill Number 6, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, an ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel, a stadium plaza between Clark and Walnut, and a two-foot strip along the north side of Clark between Stadium Plaza and Broadway. Board Bill Number 7, sponsored by Alderwoman Young, an ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel on a 20-foot wide north-south alley 
in City Block 22, bounded by First, Carr, Second, and Biddle. Board Bill Number 9, sponsored by Alderman Boyd, and ordinance pertaining to parking within the 1600 block of Belt Avenue Residential Parking District, authorizing the traffic administrator to designate the location and restrictions for curb parking of residential parking zones within the 1600 block of Belt Block. Belt Residential Parking District containing definitions, a penalty clause, and an emergency clause. Board Bill Number 58, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, and ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel and Pappin from Grand adjacent to City Block 2212 and 2213. Board Bill Number 59, sponsored by Alderwoman Davis, and ordinance recommended by the Board of Public Service to vacate travel on the East West Alley in City Block 2158, bounded by Rutger, Compton, Caroline, and Virginia. That's the extent of our second readings. We'll dispense with line items 14 through 19 and 21, 22. Ms. Lane, it's unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Tuesday, Public Safety Committee meeting, 9 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. Also on Tuesday, Ways and Means Committee meeting at 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. in the Kennedy Room. Wednesday, Housing Committee meeting, 10 a.m. in the Kennedy Room. Ways and Means Committee meeting, 6.30 p.m. in the Kennedy Room. On Thursday, Ways and Means Committee meeting, 9 a.m. in the Leisure Room. Friday, full board meeting, 10 a.m. in the Chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Any further announcements? All the ones from the second. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, tonight is our first uh, Live on a Rocks concert for this, this year. It's our Mother's Day kickoff from 6 to midnight. I'm getting ready to say noon. We're going to rock that long. Um, it's free at the Chain of Rocks Bridge at Riverview in 270. Bring your lawn chair. We will have a vendor there with food. You can bring your own goodies and treats. And you can walk across the Chain of Rocks Bridge all night as long as we're there. So please come on out to Live on the Rocks in sponsorship of myself and Riverview West Florissant. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Alderman from the 25th. Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, this weekend is also the MoPro Cycling Classic. And uh, it takes place all weekend, but I am uh, particularly uh, proud to announce the Dutchtown Classic portion of it, which will take place this Sunday, Mother's Day morning. Um, it will be basically around uh, the Marquette Park area and downtown Dutchtown along Merrimack and the former Cleveland High School building. So it's a really exciting event. People are coming to our city from all over the country and uh, in some cases across the globe. Uh, to participate in this cycling event, and uh, I actually think that Alderman Ogilvy will be <laughs> participating in it this weekend as well. So I uh, hope you all can come down and enjoy a good time and uh, enjoy the weather. It should be nice. Thank you. All right, thank you. All the one from 19th. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I want to also um, recognize the bicycle race tomorrow, too. It will be taking place in the 19th ward as well. So if you know where Triumph Restaurant is, that's the starting point, and the um, path goes right there in that Midtown area. So we're looking forward to having it there. Uh, Big Sharks and others uh, spent a lot of time, money, and energy in making sure that we have this opportunity here in the city. People are in staying in hotel rooms and spending money. I met some of them last night uh, at a listening uh, event, and it was just really nice. So what I want to do also is say that for those of us who don't necessarily respect people when they're riding their bicycles on the street, I think we need to have a new attitude. We've provided uh, bicycle lanes throughout the city. We're continuing to do that. But because of all the many reasons why it, it's good for our environment, our health, and all of that, we also need to be more polite on the roads. My second recognition is to the Urban League Guild members. They will be having a health fair at the YMCA and on page in the 22nd Ward. Is that 22nd? Yeah, I think it's the 22nd Ward uh, on tomorrow. And it starts it's from 10 to 2. So come by, get some information, get your blood pressure checked, all those kinds of things. And I also wanted to thank um, the many members of my community who participated last weekend in our fun night uh, last uh, Saturday and the fireworks spectacular that was done by a resident in my ward who is a trained, licensed pyrotech. It was great. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All the one from 14th. 
I would like to wish everyone in the ward and city of St. Louis, all the moms, a happy Mother's Day on behalf of everyone here at the board. And I hope you all enjoy the amenities here in the city for Mother's Day and get out with your family. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Everyone, if you haven't called your mother, try to call her, try to send her a card, reach out to her, uh, remind her, and thank her for all that she's done to have, make sure that you're here today if you have an opportunity to do that. Um, Alderman from 13, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to excuse the Alderman from the 3rd, 5th, 9th, 21st, and 27th wards due to necessary absence. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 13th. I entertain a second on that motion. Okay. Seconded by the Alderman from the 11th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. One no. <laughs> Alderman from, from the 13th. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to adjourn the meeting until Friday, 10 a.m., May 10th. Moved by Alderman from the 13th. Entertain a second. Second about all on from the 14th. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned.